Hi, today we will discuss gravitation chapter from the Newton's law of gravitation and characteristics of a gravitational force. Now first topic in Newton's law of gravitation, the magnitude of force between the two masses is directly proportional to product of their masses and inversely proportional to square of the distance between them and this force act along the line joining the two masses. This is a Newton's law of gravitation. For understanding purpose, take this is a small m mass, m1 mass and this is m2 mass. And the force on the first mass due to the second mass is F12 and force on the second mass due to the first mass is F21. And the distance between them is R. And magnitude of force between them is directly proportional to product of their masses. Let us take equation 1 and magnitude of force inversely proportional to square of the distance between them. Let us take equation 2. From 1 and 2, what we can write? Magnitude of force F is directly proportional to M1 M2 by R square and this force act along the line joining the two masses. Both are directly proportional that's why we can take one constant value that constant value is G G into M1 M2 by R square. Here G is called universal gravitational constant. This is always constant in the universe. It does not vary the value but it changes the value based on the system of units. That means if we take SI system value will change and if we take CJ system value will change. So if we want G value g equals to r square move that side f r square by m1 m2 move this side by m1 m2. So for this SI unit is for force Newton and r meter square by two masses that means kg square. And if we take in CGS system in CGS system, we can write dime centimeter square by gram square. The G value equals to 6.67 into 10 to the power of minus 11 Newton meter square by kg square in SI system. In case of CGS system G value is 6.67 into 10 to the power of minus 8 dyne centimeter square by gram square. Now characteristics of gravitational force. The first one is applicable for only point masses. For that, you take this is the small mass and this is the small another mass. So it is applicable for these two point masses only. It is not applicable for extended bodies, that means bigger bodies. So this is used integration method to calculate the how much force act between the two masses. And second characteristic is it is central force that means it acts center of the one object to center of the another object along the line joining the two centers of the objects but it will not act the partial forces like this 
it will not act like this it will not act it acts along the line joining the two masses centers of the two masses and third point is it is attractive force whereas charges charges having attractive force and repulsive force but coming to gravitational force it is always attractive force it it acts along the line joining the centers of the two masses you can see here m1 m2 and forces are acting along the centers of the two masses and fourth point force does not depends on shape and size of the object and medium between the two object let us let us take shape of the objects this is one object and second object this shape of the object the gravitational force does not depends on the shape of the object and size if you take size different sizes the force of gravitation does not depends upon the size of the object you can take bigger size smaller size force is same but it depends on mass of the object size mass are different and between the two masses medium that means you can take air or water or any other material the force does not depends on the medium between the two masses and fifth point the force of attraction is equal and opposite forces that means it applicable newton third law for newton's law of gravitation and the two masses acts equal and opposite forces in magnitude same